As you look at me, you're probably thinking, what an old dude. And now that you've got over me using the word dude, let's get on with the content of this Mythwest Rules video. Time to have a look at age and aging. Hello and welcome back. Welcome to another Mithras Rules video. If you don't know who I am, I'm in Wills and I produce content on role playing games with a special focus of any rule set that is being produced by the design mechanism. If you have found this or any of my videos supportive, then please consider liking, commenting and subscribing. And if you would like to support the channel via donation of your hard earned cash, then you can become a member that will give you some great perks, including early access to videos, or you can use the super thanks button. Okay, thanks a lot. Enough self promotion. Let's get on with aging. When you are enjoying the many stages of character creation, it is assumed that your character will start off as a youth or young adult. However, when it comes to your bonus skills and your background events, it is possible to start at an older age. In Mithras, there are five age categories, young, adult, middle-aged, senior and old. No prizes for guessing which category I am currently in. On page 32 of the core rulebook, there is a table that shows you what dice to use to randomly generate your age of your character. For example, if you would like to be middle-aged, you would roll three d6s and add on 25. And an old character would roll five d6s and add on 60. At each age category, the amount of bonus skill points you have, plus the maximum number you can invest, changes. For example, a character who is young will only get 100 bonus skill points with a maximum skill increase of plus 10, while a senior aged character gets 250 bonus skill points and can invest a maximum skill increase of plus 25. If you are not sure how bonus skill points work, then check out my video all about character creation that I made when I was more, well, middle aged. Finally, as the character gets older during character generation, the number of rolls you get to roll on the background e event table increases. So far, it seems like having an old character is nothing more than bonus skills. But remember, Mithras is a very balanced system. And when you get senior or older, which is 40 years plus, then the character begins to feel the effects of aging. I come. Here I come. Ah, oh, now where are my glasses? I can't see a thing. Aging in Mithras starts to take effect from the age of 40 years old. Of course, some non-human species that you might allow into your campaign might escape the aging process for a significantly longer time. As a character enters the new aging band, they must make an endurance check and a willpower check. The difficulty grade gets harder for each aging band with the characters of advanced old age, i.e. 80 to 89, having to roll with a difficulty grade of Herculean. If they fail either of their rolls, they need to roll a 1d6 on the aging effects table to see which characteristic will be affected. For physical aging, a failed endurance roll, the characteristics are strength, constitution and dexterity. And for a failed willpower roll, the characteristics that will be affected will be intelligence, power and charisma. Yes, 
there is no such thing as handsome old people. The aging role is failed, then the characteristic identified from the aging effects table will be reduced by 1d3. This reduction can be overcome using improvement experience roles, but you can quickly see that the older the character gets, the slowly it will deteriorate. If a characteristic is reduced to zero from aging, then the character dies to terminal frailty. Frailty. And this is why you should all play sorcerers and use either the hide life spell, although this won't mean that you cease the aging process, but you might become a lich or simply spend your life using switch body spell. When your body becomes too frail, well, the switch to another one. Before I go, I would just like to say that we are currently enjoying our classic fancy imperative gaming sessions and we'll be continuing with the game in our next actual play rotation. But to continue celebrate the sister, I'm going to be making some rules videos about the imperative rules as well as M space and destined. So lots coming up on the channel. Please remember that if you have found this video or any videos on my channels informative or entertaining, then please consider liking, commenting and subscribing. And remember that all your donations feed back into the channel and the videos I create. Okay, until next time, happy Mithrasic everyone. See ya. Bye.